love a bargain. Cost one pound, but I will say my drink is clean. In my head that they've definitely spat in the curry sauce. That you Would you go one. again? To that one? Yeah. No. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I am Yvette and I moved to the UK two and a half years ago and I'm documenting my experience and today I have to confess, I have never been to a Weatherspoons. I know, I don't know how I've managed it. It's honestly more of an achievement at this point, um, getting this far into UK life. However, it was hugely benefited by the fact that they were closed for a most of year. But <laughs> nonetheless, tonight I will be going to my first Weatherspoons um, I've decided for this video I want to go to the best and worst Weatherspoons in London. How do I decide what the best and the worst is? I've gone to Google reviews. So first up we're going to go to JJ Moon which is in Tootingbeck. Some of the uh, reviews include where to start? Arrived at 9pm on a Tuesday to have dessert and I got my dessert served in packaging with no plate. One star. Uh, there was a big fly in my drink and the manager told me I had to drink it or pay for another one. Um, <laughs> lipstick, was on, lipstick was on my glass. Um, I went there a few times to order the same food. Ingredients never change. I can assure you that this is the worst food I have ever eaten in years. Not to mention the lack of ingredients when the waiter came. So as you can see, Google had a lot to say. It has a 3.5 star rating, which is the lowest I could find in London, but feel free to share others. Um, I will go recreate the video in the actual worst, if you find one worse. <laughs> um, and then we will be heading to the Knights of Templar, which is in central London. It is an old converted bank, um, which we're going to end on the better one. We're going to go in with very low expectations of the worst, and then we will go to Knights of Templar. But first, JJ Moon. <laughs> Yeah, better than I thought it was. And uh, yeah, we bought burger chips, a couple of drinks. I can't believe how cheap it is. How much did the beer cost? Yeah, this cost a pound. Cost one it pound. Is, like half, less than half what I paid anywhere else. So it doesn't really work. So I don't know. Yeah, really Could be Love a bargain. Food has arrived. I have eaten half of its chips, but um, as expected, not the most amazing. But I will say my drink is clean, which is what some of the reviews didn't it's say. It's a good tasting. It's a good tasting Pepsi. Daniel doesn't love his beer. I'm not on the beer, but it's a beer I've never tried before, and it is midday on a Monday, so. You cannot like the beer, it's fine. So, the official chips are good. Chip chip, 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 chip shop chips. Do you want to do a slow pour? Curry sauce? Okay. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Can't be too bad. Finished. So, back in the car, I wanted to give a rundown when we were in the car for one, the audio, and two, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> At least not in their house, you know? Um, cool. So, Daniel, what are your thoughts first? Look, when I went in, I was, like, down here because I was like, this place seems like a bit of a dive. Reminded me of, like, a really crappy RSL club. And then I saw the menu and the prices, and I was, like, up here. I was like, this, this is good. They've got, like, options. 
and really cheap drinks, really cheap food. And then I got the food and it was what you pay for. <laughs> so overall, three out of five. Um, yes, so I'll give them points for having a vegan option or veggie option. Uh, not everywhere has that, so that's good. Um, as you saw, it was quite um, a plain burger. Um, and I'm pretty sure the food was pre-made because they, they brought it out fast, I'll give them credit. But was it too fast? <laughs> um, uh, and I didn't film it, but they actually got my order wrong. Uh, they brought out like chips with cheese and bacon on, which obviously I don't eat. Uh, so I had to send it back. So then I had in the back of my head that they've definitely spat in the curry sauce that I did order. So that ruined it, just my own <laughs> projection onto the meal of being like, I can't trust this, I'm too scared. Because you never send food back, that's the first rule. But like it was genuinely like meat, <laughs> so I couldn't eat it. Um, so yes, so that was in the back of my head. Um, the place, yeah, obviously is a dive. That's what all of the reviews were. It's quite dingy, it's classic Weatherspoons carpet, decorations, etc. Going in on a Monday at 12 o'clock, um, depressing clientele, <laughs> but like, you, that's going to be everywhere. Um, and yeah, Dana said the beer was warm, so maybe in a pound, but it was warm, so why? They got the order wrong, and it was boring, and it, the chips were like warm-ish, not even hot, so like, I suspect they just microwave them. <laughs> I, think so... they were oven, I think they were oven chips, I think they were like, you think would you go again? To that one? Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 so which means it has to be like less than a three. So like two out of five is my re review. One out of five is like if something drastically went wrong, but they did get the order wrong. We didn't get poison and we don't know if we got the food poisoning The glasses weren't clean. <laughs> if we got food poisoning tomorrow, one out of five. Yeah, if we get food poisoning, one out of five. I get COVID because they spat in my curry sauce. One out of five. <laughs> TBC. Uh, so tomorrow we are heading to the best Weatherspoons to contrast and compare. We'll get the same dishes-ish if we can, or if not better, if they offer more. Um, and yeah, that one is in the city. I'll give you more of a rundown when we get there. So we are at part two of the video. Uh, we've come to when you bank-ish, <laughs> um, basically um, the financial end lawyer district so i have dressed it up i've put on my best coat to fit in um because we're going to the fanciest weather spoons um i actually <clears throat> did research online it is highly rated at 4.5 on google um and everyone raves about it and then i even went on to reddit and asked like what's the best um pub uh, weather spoons pub and they all said this one so we're gonna go in we're gonna try and order food and a drink and see how it compares um is it the same price because it looks a lot nicer or is it going to be more, uh, more expensive and is the food going to be the same or better do you get do you have to pay more do you get more or is it the exact same is i don't i can't imagine they can do a pint for two pounds in the center of london but we'll see we'll see we'll see but um already it looks a lot nicer so i'm excited and hungry let's go It is a lot bigger. Already, already quite different, way better. The decor is amazing. It's like high roofs, pretty pictures, chandeliers. Like I can see like six chandeliers just in my field of vision. Um, and lots of light and I don't feel dirty. But how does the food compare? So far the food and and drink. A pint was two pounds at the last one, but they're here it's like four pounds eighty. Yeah, they like range, but yeah, it's roughly average. Um, but the big difference is they're cold here, so that's great. Um, and water some food, and we'll see how that goes. See how it compares. Um, slight improvement, and they got my order right. Smells really good. A bit different. Probably. <laughs> Like, I know it's all the same stuff. Is it though? Like, your chips are the same chips, but better than... It's got a different feel. It's got a different <laughs> energy to it. So, we have just finished at the Knights of Templar. Uh, it is night and day. <laughs> um, the food was actually really good. I know it even tasted like the curry sauce tasted the same. It's probably the same supplier, but it wasn't chunky. <laughs> it was like, actually good. Um, and they had many more options. The beer and drinks were cold. It was maybe like 10 to 15% more expensive, but like 
80% nicer <laughs> and the decorations are obviously way nicer um, and I don't feel dirty and I'm not paranoid they spat in my food so it's I would go back to a weather I'd go back to this weather spoons <laughs> based on that unlike the other one <clears throat> I'd rate it I'd rate it like a four out of five or 4.5 out of five that's how high good price good food good location must be all the bankers around the area but that's it for that one I will catch up with you later so that's it for that video. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me in the comments below what your best and worst Weatherspoons are. Are you like a proponent that you love Weatherspoons or are you like, it gives me the ick? What's, I always find it's a very polarizing question, I don't know. I think judging from this video, it depends which one you're going to, but um, I would definitely go back to the Knights of Templar. I sound very Australian when I said that, Templar. Um, but yeah, remember to hit subscribe if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more comparison or out and about videos. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be uploading another video on Sunday. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.